and today I have a new at the drugstore haul slash my opinions on the items because I have tried I think I've tried everything that I'm going to talk about maybe there's one or two things I haven't but I was ready to just go ahead and make the video so I prefer to do like new haul slash try it out because I I do like watching hauls and there's nothing against hauls but I just want to be able to tell you if I would even recommend the, the item you know what I mean like just showing you oh I bought this but I don't know if you should buy it as well it's just kind of not it's not really what I want to do so let's get on to it I'm gonna break this up into two new at the drugstore videos because I feel like I talk a little too much and I want to tell you enough about it and I bought a lot of stuff. So this is kind of accumulative over the last month or so. A lot of this stuff is brand new. It's a new year. They All these brands are coming out with new things. So this video is going to be face products and mascara. I have two mascara. So let's start with the mascara. On my eyes today, so I don't know how well you can see. I It's pretty bright right now because the sun is going down. But on my lashes today is the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I love it. If you can see my eye eyelashes look awesome. I love the brush. It is firm so it's not like really bendy. Um, the little plastic bristles, not the hairs or the little fibers, it's little bristles and it's curved so you really feel like you can kind of get in there and it's going to curl with your lashes love it absolutely love it and it stays on really well it doesn't flake it doesn't clump um, when it comes to removing it it's not too hard to remove if you have something that works on like remove it's not waterproof but it, it stays well enough where you need a little bit of a waterproof mascara remover to get it off so actually I have the packaging I actually bought another one that's how much I like it I bought another one so I get the color blackest black whenever I buy any mascaras I just like black lashes and so this is kind of what it looks like um, what does it claim to do a full fan effect adds volume so those are the two things that it claims it definitely has that full fan effect and it definitely adds volume so I like it bought another one that's how much I like it so then the other one I bought is from Rimmel London this is the Wonder Lash it has argan oil in it which is new I mean at least they don't advertise that there's argan oil in other mascara so that's pretty new I, I get I got number 003 extreme black again the darkest one they had and it's clump free volume and definition are what it claims to do I do like this however sadly I would have to recommend this one over this one if you were only gonna buy one but Rimmel's one of my favorite brands so that's why I said sadly because I wish I could say that I like them the best but the um the wand is bendy see if you can see that I don't really like that I feel like it doesn't give me as much grip and as much power because when I'm using it sometimes I'm trying to apply that pressure to really get it on there and it'll just bend and I it's not it's harder to work with the bendy um, brushes that's my opinion but I do like the bristles there again the little plastic bristles not the little hairs or whatever so I prefer those I like the spacing on them it's not curved like the other one so I do find myself preferring the curved ones so I do like it um but I will have to say out of the two I prefer this one so that's my opinion on those then I found okay I've already used one pair I bought two of each kind there's shutter shock and shredding the fringe now the I don't know if there were even more types but at my Walgreens is where I found these these are from wet and wild and they are the little faux lashes they were only 99 cents so like if you're interested in maybe trying out new lashes or maybe you're trying to get into trying them out but you don't want to spend a ton of money on them because some of them can be expensive um, these are only 99 cents so but I like them I wore this the other pair that I had called shredding the fringe and the shredding the fringe ones are definitely more um, there's more to it like they're more fluffy looking more widespread whereas shutter shock they have it looks like a little bit less eyelashes on there and they have like long ones and then they have skinnier ones I don't know if you can see that where the other one is like you can see they're all really fluffy they're a little bit all more the same length so I do like these though they come with glue in there but I never like the glue that comes with lashes I well most of the time I don't I prefer the Revlon 
eyelash glue that you can just buy separate so I didn't even try the glue to be honest I'm gonna I'm not even gonna lie to you I don't I just don't try the glue in these so I can't say that but I liked the lashes I liked how easy they were to apply I liked how the little stripping that holds them together I liked it so if you can find those again I have only seen them at Walgreens um, I haven't seen them at CVS or Walmart or any other place I, does Walmart even sell wet and wild I don't even know, but I've only, f I found all those at Walgreens. Okay, so now we're on to face products. So, um, one concealer. This is from Maybelline, the Master Conceal by Face Studio. So it comes in a little tube like this. I have it on today on my under eyes. I used color light medium. It's a little bit dark, but I'm okay with that. Like, a lot of people use really bright, like a shade lighter or two shades lighter on their under eyes, and I don't, I don't usually do that. I Sometimes I do, depending on the look I'm going on, but in a general everyday, I don't. Um, I almost like a shade darker. I don't know if, I don't know why. I just do. But, and honestly, really with the lighting, it doesn't even look like it was too dark for me. But um, this is number 30, light medium. I like it. It's thick. It is definitely a full coverage concealer, but it's not drying. I use it on my under eyes, like I said. That's the only place I really ever put concealer. I don't generally break out a ton. And even when I do... I generally don't conceal it. I'm like, that's my flaw. That's okay. I will usually put like a spot treatment on it and then just put on some powder over it. I don't like to irritate the area. That's just how I am. So I like this. It's definitely thick. And in the back it says full coverage, high resistance, undetectable finish, camouflages, imperfections, and dark circles. I don't have a really dark circle problem, but I just like to put concealer under my eyes. Okay, then I've got two products that you would put on your face as like a primer. I have from NYX. This is one of their new um, skinny elixirs. There were two other ones. This one's the tea tree one. It smells minty like tea tree. Ugh. And tea tree is great for your skin. I have a tea tree oil that I will put on my blemishes when I break out. And it's just a natural great product for your skin. So I forgot what color. Is it white? Yes, it's a white color, if you can see that right there. Um, again, it smells like mint. You just put this on before you put on your makeup. I cover my whole face with it, and it is supposed to help balance your skin. So I do like it. It makes my skin smooth. It dries pretty quickly, so I can put on the rest of my makeup. I love that little minty feeling. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my face. And NYX is one of my favorite brands. Then from Maybelline, the Master Prime by Face Studio. This is the Blur plus redness control. This is like a green label. They have two other ones as well that look just like this, but they had two different colored labels. But I wanted to try the redness control one because I do find that even though I don't break out much, I do sometimes get sensitive. I don't even know why because I'm not sensitive to products, but like when I wash my face, it, it'll look kind of red and blotchy in different areas. It's, but it doesn't really go away some days. Some days I still have like like a red uneven skin tone. So I decided to try the blur and redness control. I like this. Um, I'll just kind of show you. It's again white like the NYX. Um, doesn't really have a smell I don't think. I don't recall. No, it literally has no smell at all. So if you are sensitive to scents in face products this would be okay for you. So I like it. I do feel like it helps with the redness control. Is this the one I have on my... No, I have the tea tree one on my face today, so... But I have used both of these items, and I like that. Then, I've got from L'Oreal this Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is a makeup extending spray, but what I do put it on as a spray afterwards, but I, what I love this for is I use a beauty blender to apply my makeup, like my foundation and concealer, and I like to, if I don't have water available, like when I apply my makeup at work in the early mornings on the weekends... I do it at work and sometimes I use my office mirror and I'm not in a bathroom so I don't have access to water. I will spray this on my beauty blender to get it like kind of damp just in one little spot and I will put my makeup on using my beauty blender but I use this to wet my sponge instead of um, water. So if you just kind of mist your face with it, taste it a little bit, you mist your face with this to set it. I've tried other ones. I even have some other ones right now that I use, like there's an Urban Decay one. I have um, the Elf. Elf has a setting spray that I do like, and it's only $3. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative, Elf. But because this is kind of pricey. I want to say it was like 11 something at CVS. That's where I bought it. But I'm starting to see it at more stores. When I bought it about a month ago, I've had this. I only was finding it at CVS, but it's becoming more widespread. I have one concealer. This is from Maybelline. It's called the, it's from the 
Fit Me line. And it is, they have two different types, but this one is the matte and poreless. If you can see that right there on the front, it says matte and poreless. So it helps keep your face matte and kind of cover up your pores. And it's for normal to oily skin. And my color is 120 Classic Ivory. That is what I have on my face today. So as you can see, it's a pretty good match. Usually the ivory colors match me pretty well. I like this. I do feel like I have a matte feeling to my face. I've had it on all day, so no oiliness. I've had it what, probably, what time is it? It's probably almost three o'clock, so at least seven hours, but I wore this over the weekend at work, 16 hour shifts, and I didn't have any problem. Of course, I had a little bit of oil in my T-zone, but I use my oil blotting sheets all the time and just blot that away, so love that. Then from Milani, they have three blushes, and I have two of them, but I do have the other one as well, but I'm not going to be able to swatch that one because that is for somebody else. So the two I have, and the one I'm wearing today is called Romantic Rose. So that's what's on my cheeks, and these are so pretty. Like, I didn't even want to use it. They have a rose imprint in it. Even though I had this on my face today, I will go ahead and swatch it. This one's kind of just like a nice, kind of a mauve pink. So that's what that is. Then the other one's a little bit more of a kind of a brighter pink. Um, this one is called, why can't I open it? This one is called Tea Rose. So I will swatch that next to the romantic one. And, oh, I got kind of on a little petal and I didn't get much fabric or fabric, much color on my hand. Why am I not getting any or not a lot? Okay, right there. So as you can see, it's more of like a bright pinky color. Again, that one's called Tea Rose. And then the other one in the collection is called Coral Cove and it is a bright coral like compared to these other like more mauvey or darker tones This is definitely bright coral. So those are the three that were available from Milani. I just think they're so gorgeous I found mine at well, I saw them at Walgreens, but I bought mine at Walmart because they were only, I want to say, $6.48, so that's a good deal. And then I haven't tried this product. This is the one item I haven't tried. I actually got this in my um, Allure Beauty Box. Every season they do one of those beauty boxes. They're like $50, and they have tons of items in it. Why can't I open this? And I thought I'd throw this in here because it's a face product, and... It's newer at the drugstore, but it's from Physicians Formula, and I'm just going to have to tear the box. I can't get this out. It's um, called Nude Wear. It is a blush. I'm, why am I? It's, it's called a glowing nude blush, and the color is rose, so it's cute little packaging. I love packaging from Physicians Formula, and inside, it's got like the four little shades of blush so you kind of can blend them all together and get a really pretty in fact I think I'm going to blend them together right now and ooh pretty okay it's definitely a light pink color so like I don't even know if you can see that on my hand I think when I hold it right there it's definitely a lighter more nude and it has more of a glow to it the Milani blushes almost have kind of a matte finish, and this one is definitely more glowy and kind of illuminates your skin, so I got that. So I haven't tried it out like I, sh I just took it out of the box. And But they're kind of expensive. Physicians Formula is like $14 for this. I bet you this is probably $14 to $15. I haven't looked at it in the store, but it's expensive. So unless you can find it on sale or with a coupon, I don't recommend paying full price for it. I just don't. You can buy... You can almost buy a MAC blush for that, <laughs> and I would recommend black MAC blushes over drugstore blushes. So that was my um, face products and my mascara slash eyelash haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will list down below the items that I showed you, so in case you were kind of curious, I went too fast, or I didn't go too fast. I talked a lot. So look forward to another drugstore video where I will have nail polish and lip products. And, oh, some eyeshadow. Those will be in my next video that should be up after this one. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.